the wolf was still hostile, but the boy was patient, and the wolf slowly accepted it. He drank the water the boy brought him. The boy found some more worms, and put them in the wolf's mouth, and the wolf licked them and ate them. The next day, hungry, the boy saw a hare. He caught it and brought it back to the cave. While the boy was preparing a fire, the wolf sneaked up and tried to eat the rabbit. The boy found it and beat it away. Then he gnawed a piece of raw rabbit meat and swore that the food was his own. And the wolf slowly obeyed the boy. He went on to build the fire. After much effort, he finally got it going. And at night, he ate the roasted meat. The wolf on the other side also wanted to eat. Seeing that it was miserable, the boy threw him a small piece. After a few days of rest, the boy's leg was almost healed. He was ready to go. He said goodbye to the wolf and began the long trek. After a long walk, 